Yep. Wow. And it, and it doesn't matter. And it's like, and it, it, and it continued. I've been in other countries, you know, walking in a, a, a store in say London and you know, I'm dressed up. I'm, I'm, I could be wearing some of the stuff that's sold in the store and, you know, and, and the people not even trying to help me, you know, or in Paris or whatever. And I'm seeing this at an early age and I'm seeing things at 16, 17, 18, 19, that most teenagers would never in, in Queens would never experience, you know, their experience is going into Dr. J's, their experience is going into, in, into um, the Wiz or whatever. And, you know, getting whatever they're getting, um, Jimmy Jazz and, and, and just getting their stuff and nobody thinking nothing of it, you know, or Queen sent them all. They're never going to have that issue. Um, so, so I just understood it walking in. I understood it, you know, walking in. And then plus, like I said, my parents, man. I got to give it to him. My father on one end was extremely supportive, artistically supportive, and really, and then both parents really honed in like knowledge of self, like that, that was their thing. And then, you know, I have grandparents also, you know, and I, I, I you know, they say it takes a village. It's the truth, man. It's like, so you I have my grandparents and I'm lucky enough to have all sets of grandparents and parents. So, and, and all my formative years as a two parent home four grandparent, um, situation, even great grandparent situation. And everybody's instilling knowledge and encouragement. And that's why I always tell anybody, yo, encourage your kids, even if it's stuff that you don't understand. You think my, my parents understood me bringing home a cardboard box and spinning on my ass <laughs> outside. They, didn't, they, you know, they didn't get that. Um, they didn't get, they didn't get why I wanted not one turntable, but two, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They didn't get none of that, but they encouraged it. Um, um, you know, like I give you a perfect example. I'm in the print, say, for example, and I'm watching Purple Rain or whatever I'm watching. And my pop's like, you like that guy? And I'm like, yo, he's Prince, man. He does all the music. He said, he said, come with me. So we go to the video store and we get a documentary on James Brown, Little Richard, Jimi Hendrix. He said, now watch all three. And then you go, there's Prince. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know, what I'm, and I'm sitting there like, yo, yo, yo. And so now I'm, I'm getting in deeper knowledge and then to be able to be like 17 18 and then run into somebody like a little richard and sit down and say yo my pops made me watch da, 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 da. you know that to me is just it's just a dope experience doper than any random record experience the life experiences you get from it it you know it just it just it shapes you if you allow it to because some people don't some people go on the road drink smoke smash and come home yeah and spend the money that they made and never take in that random experience they could be in the they could be in that damn swiss alps <laughs> it's airport hotel club bag something back to the hotel, back to the airport. And you ain't even seen, you didn't see nothing in between. You didn't get to experience nothing in between because you're so busy wanting a bag. Like, you know, it's nah, just- a your, your sense of awareness and your knowledge itself, it runs deep, even, even as I'm just sitting listening to you because you, you, you're dropping these little nuances that go over most people's heads. Yeah. You know, I've been on countless tours. And, yeah. and you're right. Tours, they're grueling. Yeah. But fun. They could be, the, they never, could be the most fun you've ever had in your life if you allow it to be. Yes. Yeah. And and, and especially you're the artist. Like, like I'm in the background. Mm -hmm. so, and I had tons of fun on tour. So I can yeah. only imagine what it's like for being the person who's actually on stage. Yeah. But for you to, to, to be out there and, and, I was the same exact way when I could. Um, 
I was trying to take in as much as humanly possible and see and learn as much as humanly possible because coming from the Bronx, that's all I knew. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't think I would be in some of the countries or, or, or the States that I have ever touched ground in. So to see how people lived and, and how they viewed us, it was, it was an eye opening experience. Yep. So, you know, I'm loving just to hear um, your perspective and the things that you love. What's up guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.